Hey there. Did you know Baker's always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Baker's app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Baker's today. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Hello, everyone. The clip you're about to hear is from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes on a recent horror release. And just like all of our other episodes, it might include major spoilers for said horror release. So don't listen to it if you haven't already seen it. You've officially been warned. And if you'd like to hear the full episode, just head on over to patreon.com slash horrorqueers and subscribe today. Without further ado, here is your exclusive Patreon clip. But I would argue there aren't enough sharks in this movie. Okay. I mean, this is a problem with a lot of these direct-to-video shark movies is that we're trying desperately to give you characters you're going to care about. And of Mm. course, as an audience, we're sitting here going, what I care about are fucking sharks. Yeah, we can talk about those (laughs) characters too. Um, So I guess- (laughs) Oh, we will. Right out the gate, Joe, uh, would you recommend Mm -hmm. this movie? I will. It's a very soft recommendation. Mm -hmm. This was 90 minutes that I won't get back, but I'm also not super mad about it. Like, it's not the worst movie that I've ever seen. I just- Wish that there was a little more here. I am in complete agreement. Um, I wound up giving this a two and a half out of five. But if I was putting mm-hmm. a review on Rotten Tomatoes, it would be a fresh in the sense that I think yeah. this is fine. I think we've got a really yeah. bad script here with a couple of decent performances. And actually, sure. I would say some decent special effects as well. I think the plane mm-hmm. crash in this movie is really good. Yes, I think the plane crash is definitely the best visual in the film. And I mm-hmm. I actually don't think the sharks look that bad. Yeah. We are masking them in bubbles. We're only seeing eyes through portholes and that kind of stuff. I do wonder if part of this was we didn't trust the effects to be good enough to cover up more sharks. I... So... I I don't know, but overall, I was actually surprised at how competent this does look. No, th- th- honestly, I think that's why I'm being generous with it, because when I watched it, I was like, you know what? This actually, like, visually, it looks okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I've seen a bunch of these low-rent shark mm-hmm. movies. There are so many folks, and they often tend to fall into this category of... I wish there were more sharks. I wish it was more action driven. Why are you so focused on bad characters I don't care about? This is just a problem with the shark subgenre. But in terms of looking good, this is definitely a step up from a lot of the other ones I've seen. I would agree. (laughs) 